All right, so now we're in Cleveland because uh, we are selling that home, that rental house with that tree. So I don't know if you see a tree, but anyway. Um, so why am I making this other video? Because I want to reply back to you, Nikia Palmer, I believe. Um, so you said that your current lender is offering you, they have sent you a loan estimate because literally that's what it is. They send you a loan estimate let me turn on these, uh, the heater. They send you a loan estimate for 2.75. Uh, closing costs are $4,800. Then you have another uh, a, a broker uh, from PennyMac that is uh, has also offered you a 2.75 with, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the closing cost, I believe you said 5,500. So your current lender is actually cheaper, right? So like I said in the previous video, I personally highly recommend for you to go with your current lender only, only if you're happy with them. And what I mean with that is go straight to a point which it is the escrows. What are they doing with your money? What are they doing with your money uh, every year? I mean, are they calculating as escrows correctly? Uh, are you happy with the way that they are paying your taxes and insurance? And that is huge, especially because... A lot of people don't know this, but look, like your, so I'm looking over there because I thought it was a person right there, but your lender, uh, you know, could be paying your taxes late. They could be paying your homeowner's insurance late. I cannot tell you how many headaches I had to deal with with people that we refinance because they weren't aware that their, their home insurance hasn't been paid. Uh, the, the, the current mortgage company is screw up their escrows when it came down to taxes and now they are behind and they're paying double the payment from last year anyway it's just a nightmare so why am i telling you this because while it's true in this case you uh, it sounds like you have a good situation for you like the closing forty eight hundred dollars is actually which by the way that seems a little bit high but anyway we we can go over that in a different video but um I don't, no, I shouldn't say it seems a little bit high. I don't know what's the loan amount, okay? So if the loan amount could be like, I don't know, over 300000 400000 then I might, you know... Anyway, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know the details behind it. But it seems that you're in a good situation. So your current lender is giving you lower closing costs than a broker. I'm personally... A direct lender. I work for Nations Lending. We're no brokers. We're the ones who do the financing, collect the money, carry your loan. We don't sell your loan. At least we're not planning to sell your loan. You know how that works. Business is business, like you said. But what am I going with this? Is I'm not a fan of brokers. You see, I, I, I hate paying for extra fees that I shouldn't be paying on the first place. So I don't do brokers. I hate brokers. I shouldn't say I hate brokers. I don't like how the system of uh, breaking a loan works. In my, this is just my opinion. I, I don't know how you feel about that. But So if you really try to get a better deal out of the broker, go ahead and send him. And, and yes, I want to make sure you understand this. Send the broker, the loan estimate that your current... Uh, lender, which I believe you said that it was. Uh... Anyway, your your current lender, send him the loan estimate from your current lender to a broker and tell him, look, this is exactly what they're offering me. Can you do better? I believe that that's how you shop around. You should shop around with 100% honesty and integrity. Now, if you're giving honesty and integrity, you should be getting that in return 100%. So your broker should be honest with you. He should tell you, look, um, we can cut these fees, these fees, these fees right here, you know, and we can make it be cheaper than 4800 I think that you said. Or he should tell you, this is a great deal. I've done it with Quicken Loans, with uh, Rocket Mortgage. I mean, with some of these big mortgage companies, I've done it. I've told people, look, this is a great deal. Take it. Do something. Like, this is an amazing deal. You qualify now, it doesn't guarantee you're going to qualify in the future. So, I guess what I'm saying is, if you're really looking to get the best deal that you can get, uh, I, that's what I would personally do. I even made videos about this, about how to shop for mortgages and 
and things like that. I, I believe that that's the best way to shop around, if that makes sense. Now, if you're happy with the $4,800 closing cost and you're very happy with your current lender, by all means, I would highly recommend to go with them. It seems that you have a good relationship, a good business relationship. They're taking care of you and you are taking care of them by making your monthly payments on time, which is huge. That's what is allowing you on the first place to qualify for the 2.75% interest rate. Anyway, I hope that answers your question. Uh, thank you so much for watching my videos on Saturday morning. And I want to give a shout out to uh, Ann Rose. Always watching my content. Even before I click submit, I already have a thumbs up, which it's huge. I, I definitely appreciate it. Now, I am going to this home, this rental unit that we have. And I'm, they just put brand new carpet. I'm going to take pictures. I'm going to post it on Instagram, Facebook. I'm going to make a video about it uh, to sell it to possible investors out there. And we're going to rent out that home for $1,100 a month, which it is exciting. That's how I like to wake up on Saturday mornings, you know, just working towards your future. Anyway, thank you so everybody for watching this. Have a great day. Bye.